Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you my stay experience at this hotel called Midtown Richardson. It's a three-star hotel that is located right smack in the middle of the Cementing district, which is a district full of hus hustle and bustle and is where the main walking street is in Taipei City. Uh, so I'm going to share with you the stay experience. Uh, I have uh, booked myself for two, uh, two nights over here. Uh, at a total price of uh, 4410 New Taiwan Dollars, including taxes. Uh, and uh, I have booked myself on, in a room type called the Exquisite Double Room with City View. Because it's a three-star hotel, so uh, I don't have much expectation. The check-in timing is strictly at 3 p.m. So I actually dropped my luggage and I uh, went for lunch. Oops, my umbrella just flew away. <laughs> and went for lunch earlier so i'm back here to clean my luggage as well as to complete the check-in formality uh, check-in will be done like via a computer terminal as what i have seen earlier on so without further ado let's go and check in now okay so i shared earlier the check-in will be done via a computer terminal that is located in the lobby on the second floor so you just need to choose your uh, language and then the purpose so check in and check out timing check in is strictly after 3 p.m and check out will be before 11 a.m tomorrow so late check out 400 dollars and no pets allowed so accept and confirm and then okay so a little booboo over here it says the room has not been cleaned uh, to ask me to contact the counter staff but let me just share with you some of the other um, things over, features over here so you can actually scan your passport or your document. Okay, I have uh, key in my booking confirmation. So next, and yes, it's confirmed and my room number is over here. Check in and check out timing as follows. So just have to confirm payment by credit card. Okay, tap and then we should go through. Sure. Processing. Okay, so the receipt has been printed. So I need to key my mobile number. Okay, so you retrieve a uh, room card by the side and then you put it on top over here for it to detect and then you press confirm. Okay, then you can put the second piece. Confirm. Okay, this is the corridor and this is my room for two nights, one, two, one, five, eight, one. So let's go in to take a look. Um, it's a rather small space uh, because of, I think it's a location because it's right smack in the center of uh, a very famous district, Seaman thing. So immediately when you come in, it's where the mini bar section is. Uh, there are instant coffee sachets as well as uh, tea, Chinese fine tea for your drinking pleasure. Complimentary drinking water has also been provided. There's also a kettle should you need to boil some water for your tea or coffee. And then there's a mini fridge at the bottom. I believe there's nothing inside, sure enough. But there are lots of convenience stores around, so you can actually pile up your fridge with all the uh, supplies that you prefer to keep you um, full and satiated during your stay. Okay, the sink, it's interestingly outside, placed outside. And by the sink, there's a universal power outlet for you to charge, perhaps hair dryer or to power out your hair dryer or your shaver, okay, and then also can also double up as a charging point for your mobile devices. And the um, shower amenities and the bathroom amenities have been left outside like that. Uh, so rinsing cup as well as um, two bottles of um, oh conditioner 
as well as uh, body lotion and then the necessary amenities like toothbrush, toothpaste, shaver and even a soap. Yep, so this is like a working desk area. So uh, the remote control is over here together with the phone. There's a desk uh, lamp over here. Uh, a very um, simple chair for you to actually do your work if you need to. <laughs> yep. And behind the working desk is where the wardrobe space is. Maybe let me go from this angle so you can see clearer. So it looks like that. And then uh, at the bottom shelf, uh, interestingly, they power the religious uh, books over here together with the hotel directory and uh, with the fold inside the folder there's also like pen uh, and then uh, letter pad as well as envelope if you need to write anything so the tissue box is over here there's an in-room safe uh, pretty decent size so good enough and at the bottom is where you have two pairs of uh, very flimsy looking uh, bedroom slippers okay and then the hair dryer is over here uh, um, considering the size i'm skeptical about how powerful it is but i'll let you know the verdict tomorrow or later yes so uh, with that let's go into the bathroom uh, so as you can see the porcelain throne is on this side okay so let's move in uh, okay so once again i'm not using the gopro so please bear with me i'm just using my google pixel 4 xl so this is the porcelain throne uh, with the waste bin by the side and if i swing the focus to the other side this is where the standing shower is so there is a shower head as well as a rain shower and then um, the soap dispenser I believe dispensers both uh, shower gel as well as shampoo since the conditioner is actually outside yeah later I'll bring it in if I need to shower so we are almost done with the room uh, this is the bed area so I think it's a king size bed if I'm not wrong yeah and then there's like a view some view yeah and the building facade of another structure yes and then the bedside table the lamp looks like it's occupying like 100% of the space over there could have been replaced with something slimmer but oh well at least there's like a shelf at the bottom for you to put your personal belongings if you need so there's only one bedside table and then there's a universal power outlet over here to charge out your mobile devices if you need. So three light switches, no indication of which light opens up which. So I think you need to guess on your own. Yep. Yes. So the air conditioning, uh, its control is right here. You can control the temperature. In front of the bed is where a TV is, which we hardly ever use. Yeah, track count of the bed, um, slightly on the rougher side if you compare it to the previous hotel that I stay in. And also, um, the pillow is also pretty soft. So I think I'll need two pillows to double up as one for the sufficient or appropriate support for my neck. Okay, so with that, I think I've completed the room tour. Nothing much, pretty basic room. Even the ceiling is uh, very, very low. I can actually touch the ceiling like that. Yes, so um, I think um, all in all, uh, for the price tag that I paid for two nights, right, I think it's still a pretty decent room. Uh, at least it's clean. Um, everything is like looking okay um, and the uh, facilities and amenities are acceptable there's even a water dispenser machine outside uh, the corridor on every floor if i'm not wrong which dispenses warm uh, hot as well as cold water so i think um, 
just for a basic stay is great. And considering the fact that it's in a very good location, which is right smack in the heart of Taipei City, I think the price tag is still acceptable. And uh, at least you do not have to travel to get to a lot of the places that you want to go and see, places you want to eat at, and places you want to enjoy yourself at. So, yeah. Uh, so, maybe we'll follow up with the bait test very shortly. Yeah. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the ceremonial bait test shall commence now. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, verdict. Um, the bit actually shakes if you have a lot of vi violent maneuvers, so be careful. Don't fall off the bit. The softness is acceptable. I think I can still have a good night's rest. Um, in terms of the track count, it's also acceptable for the price tag. Um, and the pillow is a bit like the memory pillow, but it's slightly thinner. So I think, uh, as suggested earlier, I will put two pillows together to provide sufficient support, height support for my neck. Yes. And so um, with the bed test, I think that completes um, the entire uh, stay experience. Uh, I will conclude tomorrow morning uh, before I... No, sorry, Tuesday morning before I check out uh, because I'll be staying here for two nights. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so I'll share with you more. Uh, in the checkout uh, segment. Hello, so uh, if you have watched this far, um, this particular segment would be the part where I'll be checking out after two days stay at Midtown Richardson. So all in all, I would say that it is a very basic accommodation because I paid for the hotel rate without um, the uh, breakfast package and then there is no facilities uh, per se within the hotel property. A uh, good thing about this place is it's very nicely located within um, the heart of uh, Taipei City which is the touristy district of Simen Ting. So it's near to Red House, it's very, within walking distance to the Simen Ting walking street as well as the underground shopping street. So um, it's basic, um, but at the same time, uh, it provides that convenience. Um, the bed itself, I would say, is rather comfortable. Uh, one downside is um, the soundproofing is not as good uh, as the previous property that I stay in. Um, so you can hear actually the water dripping or draining, uh, the drainage pipe uh, sounds when you are sleeping at night. So earlier on, you all saw the small hair dryer. Apparently, it's quite powerful because um, you know, it actually dries up my hair pretty fast as well. Uh, yeah, I paid for the room without breakfast package uh, because I feel that um, within this area, there are lots of places where you can have a, a nice breakfast. So I wouldn't want to uh, spend more on the breakfast itself. Um, yeah. So, all in all, I think um, if you would want to come over here, you can actually consider this particular property if, let's say, you would value the convenience. And most of the time, you'll be out roaming the streets of Taipei. Uh, you wouldn't be spending that much of a time within the hotel property itself. Uh, this would be quite a good choice for you. Yes, so with that in mind, uh, I'm going to complete my checkout formality at the lobby. Most likely, I will just use the computer terminal as I showed you earlier in my video. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, just feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching us and supporting us always. We'll see you in our next vlog. Bye!